homies hey y'all how y'all doing today i hope i post this before mother's day because i am coming to tell all of the homies the mothers that are homies happy mother's day because being a mother is definitely a full-time overtime job okay and the benefits that we get uh is to see our children grow up see uh what kind of adults they become because it is part of the parenting that we do and i know i can't speak for everybody but i know for me i want my children to grow up being better than me you know what i'm saying but anywho um so i did come to tell y'all happy mother's day but i came to do a little talking too just a little bit but um I want to talk about this YouTube couple that recently broke up, and y'all know I'm always late to the party. And but I said I want to come and just speak on this a little bit, and just want to hear what the homies, um, what the homies think about it. If y'all heard about it or whatever. But anywho, so um fooling with Yana. Yana put me on a whole bunch of YouTubers because I wasn't on YouTube like that before um I started posting a few years ago. But yeah. So um oh and I also want to do a shout out too. Let me do that first while it's at the beginning of the video. So I want to shout out Mother of Twins, y'all. Homies, go check out Mother of Twins, okay? Go show us some love. Let her know that Dawes Diary sent y'all that way. And just check her out. Show us some love and stuff. She needs some encouragement, some encouraging words. So, um, I just want y'all to do that for me, okay? Now, that that's over with, um, yeah, so back to this YouTube couple. Y'all, so y'all put me on CJ So Cool. And I started watching him and stuff for a little while. Then it started being like, ugh, like, okay. Um, I, I stopped watching him. Well, recently, I guess on the YouTube a few nights ago, and I see that him and royalty has um, broken up. So, I really want to talk to royalty. So, if this, this happened to pass your way, girl, hey, girl, how you doing? Don't go back to that manipulating fool. Don't you do it. You better not. <laughs> but, um, we go get on the interstate, but I'm going to get on the interstate. Anyway, uh, so, y'all, let me tell y'all, I was looking at his video. This has started i seen his video and he was like coming home to an empty house and i was like empty house what he got going on let me be nosy i like to be nosy y'all know i like to be nosy homies but uh let me see what he got going on so that's how i found out that they had broke up and she done cleared out the house well let me do a little bit more research ain't that how i do an excuse y'all i'm driving in the car uh so the sun of course will be disrespectful but it is what it is y'all can still hear me right okay so uh i end up going over there to royalty and i seen where she went live and was showing you know when she was packing and she was saying little stuff like um how cj was telling her that them children did not help him make his money that everything, the, the house that they stay in, everything that's in that, that mansion that they stay in and all this stuff belong to him. It don't belong to the children. The children ain't, her and her children didn't help him do nothing. She was saying all that stuff. Meanwhile, the whole time they've been talking, he's been cheating on her and all of that. So that's why she was fed up because of some post that was made on Instagram and some girl being all over him and stuff like that and she felt like that was an embarrassment to her being that they were in a relationship. Being that they just had twins that I think now that she had to go back and get her tubes untied to have these cheering for this man. Okay. And then he wanted to sit up here and be cheating and disrespecting her off of out in the public and stuff and out on the social media where their life is on the social media. And that's embarrassing. He was not thinking about her when, and let me, I'm changing because like I said, I'm really talking to you, Royce. She, he wasn't thinking about you, boo, while he was out there uh, lollygagging out in them streets 
making you look stupid as hell. You better not go back to him. Like, and people, like, that's what the talk about now. Like, is she gonna go back? Like, she ain't gonna go back. Y'all, but y'all, if y'all ain't seen that video, though, of him crying, and the main thing, he was upset because he went from 3 million views to, he said a million views. It's really less than a million views now, or whatever. And um, so he called himself out there uh, doing promos and stuff to get his views back up and all that type of stuff. But baby, let me tell you something. The people that was watching your channel, CJ So Cool, was them children, for them children. They weren't watching that damn, your channel for them. And then he uh, mentioned in one of his videos, he started in 2015 or Mootsie Boo, and then he brought the children on, so he did that for the children and this, this, and that. Baby, let me tell you something. Um, when you started in 2015, you ain't had no, no views, you ain't had no subs, you ain't had nothing until you, them children came on your video. And until you realize that that's who got you where you is are them children. Baby, you ain't nothing. And then listening to his, his conversations, you can hear how he, he manipulate them or whatever. You can just from that video then, at the end, he wasn't crying. He was like trying to be all big and bold. But then when he went up in Leon's the little boy room and seen he had cleared everything, got his room with y'all blank blind, because you're not going to do my mama no any type of way, boo. But anyway, after he seen that, that's when it hit him. And he want to be all on the video talking about Leon. Leah and all that crying and all that extraness and all this stuff, y'all. I was like, so what is wrong with this man? First of all, how you gonna tell this woman going off on this woman and then saying all this crazy shit like her, her children didn't do nothing? Yes, they did. They did a lot. Okay. And then he felt like just because he came up with the skits and all that type of stuff that um, they don't deserve no credit. Even if you came up with the skits, boo, what they call that a producer, you want the talent. I'm sorry. You was not the talent, love. So how dare you tell that woman that her, her kids did not did, um, help you grow that channel? How dare you do that? You should be ashamed of yourself. And royalty, girl, please don't go back to him because you deserve better. At the end of the day, you shouldn't. I mean, you want your man to love your kids just as much, if not more, than he loves you. But you shouldn't want your uh, child to be around anything that's negative. All that fussing, hooping, and hollering, and all that type of stuff, all that extraness. You don't want that. That man brought you out of your character by you going live, showing what you were doing, and how you were leaving and packing up their home and stuff. Your children was around listening to you as you was doing all of that, as you was making that live, and stuff like that. You, at the end of the day, being a mother... You, our main concern is our children, okay? And that man was taking you out of character, so I applaud you for packing all your stuff up, leaving him his shit there. You ain't have to take his shit because God is going to bless you better than you have ever, ever, anything that you can ever imagine, he's going to bless you. That man that you actually want, he going to bless you with that man, girl. Just take your time and be patient. Don't jump into nothing, okay? Like, and remember, you're doing it all for your children. Right, homies. So I just wanted to put that out there while it was on my mind. I just, you know, I just had to throw a little bit, a little bit out there. Um, and I really wanted to like just post some clips of it, but I ain't gonna do all that because I don't like all that extra and stuff. So y'all just go and y'all can watch some of the videos of them uh the past few weeks. Now it could be a publicity stunt. I don't know what it is. Um, but everything that she was saying, you could hear that she was real about what she was saying. So, if that's the case, I hope it's not a publicity stunt, and I hope she don't go back. Like she told him in that video, baby, I'm finna make new money. Royalty, do you, boo. Make your new money and do you. If anything, all this has brought more people to your channel. So, do you, boo. Make more money doing you. Talk about his ass. If they help you get over them a little bit cool. All right. <laughs> All right, homies. Um, but that's what I wanted to come and talk to y'all about. Um, and I just want to say again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Super duper, super duper special happy Mother's Day to all the mothers with the dead deadbeat dads out there. Super duper, because y'all know y'all play a whole bunch of roles in y'all children's lives. So I want to just say happy Mother's Day to all of you. Remember that we are examples for our children. 
we are examples for our children okay so we want to make sure that we are um walking and the example that we want to set for our children yes that will be hard because it's hard for me i'm i'm working on it i'm getting a little better but it is a hard process to do but in the long run our children is our main concern we're living life for our children we want our children to have a better life and then we had but well, then we did or we have at the moment whatever we just want their lives to be a whole lot better we want them to be able to make better decisions than we made and most importantly i guess i want my kids to know that don't move without god if god ain't telling you to move don't you move because you ain't doing nothing but prolonging that blessing that he has for you and that goes also to all the homies out there y'all don't move without them okay let them lead you all right, because like I said, your girl for the past, um, shoot, it's been about a year and a half. But anyway, I just been letting God move me the way that he sees fit, y'all. And I'm telling you, life is so much better with doing that. So, in recent news for me, um, as I'm running to this hair store to get young some hair, uh, we just moved. God has blessed us with the house. We ain't buying the house now. It's, we just renting the house, but it don't matter. We were blessed. <laughs> we're renting this house, homies. I had said, you know, after I moved out of the duplex, I was like, my next move, because my mom was like, but dog, why don't y'all get an apartment? No, ma'am. That's going backwards. I don't want to go backwards now. I want my next move to be a, uh, now these people making up parts like I'm finna do, because it look like it's a handicap. But I'm finna part right here. But anyway, I was like, um, my next move will be a house. Because I'm on a house. And um, and I that's all you know I had been praying for. When I prayed for my duplex, he gave me everything that I wanted for it. I didn't know it was gonna be a duplex. I just said I wanted the fence backyard and I wanted the driveway where I could pull up, get out, and walk in my house. But um or walk into the door of my home. And that's what he did with the duplex. Now with the um with the with the house I prayed for the backyard, a nice big size backyard, a nice size house for for us and the children and stuff like that. And he did just that. So y'all stay tuned to more videos. My kitchen ha, is the bomb.com so I will be coming with a whole lot of uh, more things done in the kitchen. We got major, major plans. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video like I like seeing all other videos. And y'all know I ain't going to edit nothing. Whatever. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of the support we getting. Hey to all the new homies. Hey y'all. Y'all know it feels so good to get new homies and you don't even post no video. Hey to all the new homies. How are y'all out there? And of course, hey to all my day one A1 homies. Uh -huh. Hey y'all. And um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video like I like to end all other videos. Positive thinking brings positive vibes. What you turn into positive outcomes. So whatever dreams, goals, plans you have out there. Do what it takes to reach those dreams, goals, and plans. And if you're stressing, what you're stressing for? Turn it over to God. And ain't no promise to be for him to sign. Until next time, y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Bye-bye.